Preacher here. Join me for Biker Bread. Preacher here. And this is Biker Bread. In Luke chapter 17, starting at verse 20, it talks about the coming of the kingdom of God. I want to share this. Once I'm being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. Then he said to his disciples, the time is coming when you will long to see the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. People will tell you, there he is, or here he is. Do not go running off after them. For the Son of Man in his day will be like lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from the one end to the other. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating and drinking, marrying and being given in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed them all. It was the same in the day a lot. People were eating and drinking and buying and selling and planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. Now this is something that I, I see a lot of people overlook. They always talk about it'll be as in the days of Noah. and People will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. And that's what they focus on. But what does Lot's situation and Noah's situation have in common? You know what was in common was there was a people with unrepentant hearts and there was only a few that were found to be righteous. Lot and his family and Noah and his family. I think that in that day there's not going to be a whole lot of people that are righteous. I think many people will turn their back on God and not trust in Him. I'm not here to pick on when the Lord's coming. Because I believe that we're called to be ready. And if we're ready, then it don't matter when He comes because we're prepared. You see, whether He comes for all His people right now, or whether he comes for just you, you need to be ready. None of us are promised our next breath. None of us are promised tomorrow. Let me pick back up verse 30. It says, it will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, no one who is on a housetop with possessions inside should go down and get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. Remember Lot's wife? Whoever tries to keep their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life will preserve it. I tell you, on that night, two people will be in one bed, and one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding grain together. One will be taken and the other left. Where, Lord, they asked. He replied, Where there is a dead body, the vultures will gather. You know, I want to stand and leave everybody with that whole situation. We're called to trust God, to be ready, and to know that He's coming again because God promises it. If you haven't started a relationship with Christ, I recommend you do it. Keep it shiny side up and be blessed.